Hello guys, Megishub here and I'm back with another banner review and today we have a new banner, Modstep of Order which is new, uh, or not kinda new but adjusted before it has 5 steps but now it is like a working banner they have reduced it to 3 steps so it's cheap enough to get mod skills so real nice of them but the only thing that is missing is the rate up please make the rate up 8% like Grand Order instead of 4% so it's more worth the pull, but otherwise we're gonna review how it is right now. Sort about that banner is that it's a mod banner where step one, three percent off, step two, regular price, and step three, you are guaranteed to get a mod skill. Any mod skill that have been released to the game, except for a limited mod skill like Frontline Commander Asna, which is celebrated for the initial ring uh, sword online, or progressive movie. Those mod skills aren't here in banner, so really sad about that. But other mod uh, skills is still fine so this is available for two weeks so enough time to do uh, if you do the GOG you should have enough to pull the uh, banner uh, the future skill here is to put your heart into Yuki a mod sword really really strong and if you do somehow manage to also get her uh, mod father which is also a buffed skill then you have a, the ultimate uh, sword build but it also has a really long cooldown which is 26 seconds so yeah can take very well long but it's it's the one of the strongest mod sword uh, really cool then we have strict butler xenon uh, this one is really good you can use this as mod father for your bow or you can use it as a um, damage dealer if you want depends depends on the boss but it is really good um, yeah then we have brimming Bring, br <clears throat> bring with wisdom Leafa. Uh, so blood and fire. Um, so this is really good for either I think floor seventy five a dungeon or skull reaper. One of those. And yeah, so these are all the skills. And the last one was awakening in the night Koharu. I don't remember when that was, but yeah, that was the latest mod skill. And I can see there's no limited uh, mod skill here, no progressive uh, skill, so they don't exist. Uh, hopefully they one one they release it back, but so no for now then there's nothing there. Use the old uh, gener general mod skill there. You can obtain from grab back or anything. But yeah, uh, so most of them are really good. Some of them are really bad. Then some of them you can use a mod for if you want. But yeah. And if you're looking for some specific, you have 1.1% to get it. So there's around 90, 90-ish skills, I believe, right? 90 is most skills, so yeah, and in total, it should be over 100. But anyway, now the question is, should you pull on this banner? I would say this is definitely worth pull if you're looking for multiple uh, mod skill, if you don't have any, or if you are new to new to game, Try to re-roll on this banner to get the most war and so you can start pretty early and have great progressive uh, pro progress uh, progression on the story but yeah so uh i think this is really worth the pull but if you already have a lot of uh, mod skill then you don't really need to pull on it and uh, you can skip it but only for those that are doesn't have that many skills uh many mod skills especially so yeah I think it's worth, but like I said, if you have already mod skill, you don't need to pull, you can save your account gems and wait for another banner and see how good that one is. But you still have two weeks, so I wish you then good luck if you plan to pull on this one. And I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully this review, a little short uh, video on the review. But yeah, nothing special. I don't really need to go through all the details of the skills. But anyway, take care now and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.